Hello, today we're going to talk about um, some simple steps that you can take in the comfort of your home to have a look to see if you potentially have any muscle imbalance that we talked about in the previous video. Uh, the muscle imbalances are the reason why most back pain patients they have to keep running back to their chosen back pain specialist only to find temporary relief but unfortunately every few weeks every few months the pain and the condition keeps popping up again um, and eventually unfortunately for most of that is a classic story in my clinic um, even that particular treatment doesn't provide temporarily relief any longer and often it has progressed from an intermittent problem to a constant problem for them um, in other words, the condition has advanced, uh, becomes harder to treat. Um, so, obviously, for most of us, we want to try to avoid it. We want to try to deal with those imbalances. Now, so how do you potentially um, identify that you have maybe some imbalances? So, there's some simple things you can do by either using a mirror. Yes, you heard it right, a mirror. Or maybe use your, your phone, the camera on your phone, um, to take some pictures. So, let's start with the mirror. So the first thing we do is hey, we want to get out a mirror, hopefully have like a maybe a large mirror, standing mirror or something at home that you can look in, you can stand in front and you can see your whole body in there. What we want to do is first, we want to take our top off, not now, <laughs> sorry, my, uh, sorry, silly joke, not now, uh, later, but you want to take off your top, but keep your trousers, maybe you wear a skirt, I don't know, but let's say you wear uh, trousers, uh, uh, jeans, you want to keep that on maybe ideally having a belt in there as well to make it a little bit easier what i'm going to explain so what you want to do is you want to try to stand side on in on, on the mirror so the idea is that you want to look at the trouser line so let's say yeah, so the the trouser line at the front for example is that lower than the trouser line at the rear in other words if that's the case your pelvis may be tilted forward so we so you potentially may have what we call a forward tilted pelvis the opposite is true as well so let's say so let's say the the rear is lower than the front so in other words your pelvis may be tilted backwards so you have what we call a backward tilted pelvis physical dysfunction then once you've looked at that and you identified potentially maybe something there hey, you want to make notes what you need to do is next as well is to take off your trouser too so you're only in your underwear so you want to face on look straight in the mirror and you want to see identify potentially is there one shoulder lower and let's say my left for you right but let's say my left is lower so could you see in the mirror from hey it may not always be quickly that obvious yeah, but let's say my left shoulder is a bit lower and then what happens and you need to look lower down to your pelvis region because often uh, what's the case is that on the shoulder in this case left my pelvis on the left would be higher so that means that my rib cage and pelvis are pulled together so that means potentially that you have what we call a high hip physical dysfunction so you want to make notes of that now <clears throat> a forward tilted pelvis can be combined with a high hip. It's very rare to see a backwards tilted pelvis, backwards tilted pelvis with a high hip physical dysfunction. So you could have two physical dysfunctions as well. So, so that's by using a mirror. So we could use a camera. Yeah, so using a camera, so what you need to do is is maybe ask somebody to take pictures so you're in your underwear somebody takes a picture from the front the rear left right now if you want to you could share those pictures with me i'll have a look at it for you if you want me to um, now but you can obviously take those pictures have a look at the pictures and could you observe like i said before forward tilted pelvis trouser line and this case maybe your underwear can you see is it you, do you stand with a quite a hollow in your lower back or does it appear that your lower back is quite flat yeah if it's very hollow it may that you have a forward tilted pelvis if it's very flat you may have a backwards tilted pelvis or again when the picture is taken from the front the rear does it appear that again had one shoulder in this case my left is lower than the opposite side so in other words the pelvis on that side will be pulled up as so the, the shoulder and pelvis are pulled together so 
Yeah, so, so, so the two simple methods you can use, either a mirror or a camera at home, in your own, at a, the comfort of your own house to see potential, not saying for necessarily uh, that that is the end of it, uh, because ideally you want to then test various muscles. Uh, this is various muscles that can be tight, overworking, uh, too strong, or there may be certain muscles that are, um, are weak. So uh, normally in the clinic, I would then assess the various muscle groups, the opposing muscle groups, um, and there need to be at least three positive markers for that person or that patient to fit within that particular physical dysfunction. And like I said, you could have more than one. You can have two physical dysfunctions. Um, the other thing potentially you could do is you could lie flat on the floor and then see how easy is it to slide your hands underneath the low of your back. So it's very easy to slide your hands underneath there. It may be again that you have a forward tilted pelvis yeah, because somehow certain muscles are tight and muscles are weak. It's pulling the pelvis, even lying flat on the floor, out of alignment forward. If it's very hard to slide your hand underneath there, it may be that maybe that the, uh, the pelvis is, is a backwards tilted pelvis. So mirror, you could use a camera. If you use a camera, you do some pictures, if you want to share them with me, I'm, I'm very happy to have a look at it for you. Uh, but those are easy ways to try to potentially to start off identifying if you have maybe some imbalances. Uh, because it's so important that we try to identify those personal muscle imbalances, uh, like I explained in the previous video, because it's those imbalances pulling your spine out of a natural alignment, thus day-to-day -day going about your normal day-to-day -day life, incorrect excess stresses are being placed on various spinal structures, and eventually they break down and then cause uh, in stage three of, of the development. I talked about stage one, two, three, and four. Stage three is the condition. And then obviously, unfortunately, most popular treatments only treat stage three and four, the condition, the symptoms, but don't go back to stage one and two, identify the muscle imbalances, work on those muscle imbalances, because otherwise it, your pain keeps coming back and all you do is keep running forwards and backwards to your chosen back pain specialist. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you want to share anything with me, please do so. Any questions, let me know um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.